All right, so here is how the truck sits right now. Strange brakes. See the underside. Afco's. I don't know how good you can see it, but third link. Trash that safety loop welded in. Long bars. Fiberglass mono leaves. Crown Vic front. All aluminum front suspension. Built specialty wheels. Strange brakes, like I said. Wheel tubs. And our roll bar welded to the roll bar. Goes through the cab. Interior. Gauges, the boost leash won't go. Tackle stay. The uh, boost gauge belongs to a buddy of mine, so I won't stay. See where the roll bar comes up, it's tight. The door bars are removable. So we pull it up, pull it out, and the race quip harnesses are there and as far as I know yeah and there's a spec on it it's still good battery on off switch does work shaft you can see where the frame is all boxed factory pedestals the radiator will stay fan will not but that is the new fuse box for the truck comes out of the cannon plug down here Truck has not been wrecked. These are all the original body panels. The worst body spot on the whole truck. Whole deal. You can kind of see right here where the bodywork underneath is showing through, which is the shoddy bodywork when it got painted. There. 13 14 hood vents and then the only other spot on the whole truck is an outward ding which was my fault when I cut the wheel tubs but those are the worst two spots on the whole truck power windows work power door locks I don't ever use the power door locks but they work um, there's no Bondo or anything on the roof. It's all steel. There's, this is the work of the Bondo on, on here. There is a little filler here where we welded up the, where the factory secondary gas tank was. And then there is right here, there is a little bit of filler here. Well, there was a couple of small wavy dents. That is it. The whole truck, the first time it got painted, I had it painted. You see the color that's on it. That's it. 